Bull Armory SAS 2 comp. Here's the bag it comes in. I love the bag they send it in. There's plenty of space inside the bag. There's a place for you to add your patches if you want to put them on here. And when you open up the bag, inside here is your gun. You have extra straps so you can strap other things down. You can adjust the gun and you can put other guns in here if you want to. And it holds your magazines in the top. So let's get the gun out of here. Let's take just a minute and look at what comes with your gun. You get that really nice case and then you get all kind of little extras inside of here. So you got your plate to mount your optic. You've got a Velcro sticker to put on your bag or other places. You've got a nice sticker here from Bull Armory. And we'll begin to put these up. You've got your owner's manual here. You have a very tiny Allen wrench. I am not sure what that's for yet. Haven't figured that out. And your chamber block, another sticker, another sticker, and a card from Bull Armory. You get a cleaning kit. Your gun does come with a plate, and this plate is to mount your optic on the rear. There are two screws, one in here and here, that you would pull out, and the screws are captured in the rear sight, so you're not gonna lose them. Just take them out, set this to the side. This plate has a notch in it right here. The notch fits right in the position there and you would mount your optic. To take your rear sights off, guys, your little Hollison tool that comes with it, the star, I don't know the size of this, but it's this star that comes with your Hollison tool. It actually fits right in here perfect to take your rear sights off the firearm. So this is made for the RMSC shield optic to go on here, but you can also put, I've got a right and optic and it actually fits, has these four notches that match up. So right and fits on there. I am gonna mount a Hollison. This is what I'm gonna mount on it. The mini reflex sight that Hollison makes and that's the HS507KX2 on here. But it won't work because this thing has, let's see, when it goes on here, these back two nodules right here. These are not on the bottom of your Hollison. So I'm going to actually grind these two off so I can mount my Hollison on here. You'll have two on the front holding it in place. Then your screws will go in here to hold it down. Hollisons are made that way. That is all you get with them is the two notches in the front. I have got seven, maybe eight of these different optics Hollison, and that's all that's ever held them on. I've had them on there for years and use them constantly. No issues with them. So I don't have a problem with grinding these off. When I grind these off, if you want to go back and run a Riton or RMSC on it, you can still run it. You just won't have the rear nodules notches on it here but you'll still have your screws and your two fronts i don't think it's going to be a problem at all so for my first impressions of the gun i absolutely love this sas 2 with the comp on it i like that it's lightweight i love the trigger on this thing that is absolutely phenomenal on it i like the undercuts here I do like the added piece here for my pinky to hang on to. It just kind of squeezes that gun and brings it right into position. Very easy to find the front and rear sights on it. You've got the fiber sight here on the front of the gun. You've got the comp on the front to push the front of it down when you shoot it. You've got the bobbed tail on the rear of the gun. You've got ambidextrous safeties on it. And you've got 16 rounds of ammo in this thing with one in the chamber for 17 and it comes with two magazines for you. It would be your concealed carry. It's got the 3.25 inch barrel with the ported comp on the front here. And I really like the comp where it comes straight up off the front of the firearm. I have the black Mamba and it has the same setup and that is the flattest, smoothest shooting firearm I've got and I hope that this gun follows suit with that. Watched a lot of videos on this gun. 
without the comp on it. A lot of folks say because it's so small and compact, it's a little bit snappy, but I believe this is going to take care of that issue with the gun. Now, this is a new offering. They just come out with it. I couldn't find it anywhere. I've seen it advertised, but I couldn't find it. So I called Bull Armory in Miami, Florida, and the young lady said they had one. They sold it to me, shipped it right to me. Of course, I do have an FFL, so I was able to get it. Now, let's talk about some of the features on this gun. Of course, this is plastic on the bottom here, metal slide, barrel on the top. The big thing about this is weight. This thing weighs one pound, four ounces, according to their website. When I weighed it, I got one pound, seven ounces on it without a magazine, without any ammunition in it. So... It could be my scales, I don't know. These are plastic grips. They are textured. Let you guys get in there and take a look at the cut in it. And it goes all the way around across the back. I do like the grips. When you grab it, it's got good texturing. It's not aggressive. It does not feel like it's gonna dig into your hand at all while you're shooting the gun. I like the texturing around the front so you can hang on to it. But you've got these pointed mags. See how they come up here on it? So doing mag changes, it's just going to find its way right up in there to insert the magazine in it. Look at the angle on the magazine here, how they've done that. Now when it's in the gun it leaves a lip, an edge on it, so if you had to grab it and strip it out, you can get your hands on it. While we're talking about the grip, let's talk about this piece right here. I really like how this comes out on the bottom of the gun. When you grip the pistol, look how my pinky lays right in there, right against that. And when you squeeze nice and tight, it just kind of presents the gun at the perfect angle to be able to find your sights and your sight picture on it. I really like that feature on this firearm. At the magazine release, you can see how it sticks out here. Easy to get to and reach. Now, I always have a little bit of trouble with these 2011 style guns because my thumb's a little bit short, a little hard for me to reach that but I can just adjust a little bit enough to hit it to get the magazine out of it. The magazine release is threaded, so I'm sure they make an aftermarket extension that you can put on here if you'd like to do that. Look at the undercuts on this trigger guard. Look how deep they are. I really like deep undercuts on a trigger guard like this. For me, they're a lot more comfortable. I have taken my Dremel and done this to several of my firearms, so it's really nice that they've already done it for you. That way, when you lay your finger right up underneath here, it's not digging in to your finger. Look at the curve. Look how that perfectly matches the human hand, the human fingers there. So it's very comfortable to hold. It does have a pick rail on the gun, so you can mount accessories. I do have an O-Lite on the way for this gun, so it's small and flat. Slide on this gun. Look how deep these cuts are. These cuts are deeper and wider than they were on the original one. The barrel on the gun. Look how nice the barrel is. It's fluted. Of course, all of this work, all these heavy cuts in the flutes are how they make weight on this firearm. You can press check it really easy. You can pull the slide back to put around in the chamber really easy. So the spring on this thing, it's not really difficult to pull it back, which I really like. The sights, fiber sights here on the front, and it is a dovetail. So the rear sights on the gun are adjustable. You've got a really tight sight picture on this rear sight. Look at the hammer on this gun is a small flat hammer. I like the bobtailed here on this spur so that you don't have so much sticking out. And look how this sticks out here, your rear, rear safety on it. 
so it's really easy for you to grab it and press it in. I don't have any trouble pressing that back strap safety at all down when I grip this gun. Look at the trigger on this gun. You can get different trigger shoes for it. I actually like the one that came on it myself. I'm going to keep that one on here. I'd say that's about four to five mils of take up on that trigger. Now, when you put pressure on that trigger, it snaps. Super crisp break on this gun. You reset, really short reset on this thing, but that's just a phenomenal trigger. You don't feel anything in the trigger when you actually squeeze the trigger. You feel nothing at all. You don't feel any crunch. You don't feel, I mean, it just, it just breaks right away. The hammer, I love the hammer on this gun. A lot of people don't like that. But for me, I really do like that hammer. For you, you would carry it locked and cocked. So your safety would be in the up position on for locked and cocked. You cannot pull the trigger. Even if this rear safety is depressed, you cannot pull the trigger. You'd have to just reach up and take the safety off. The safety is ambidextrous. It's on both sides. Look how narrow it is here and how it comes around and it's at a curve on the gun. That thing is just really easy to put on and off. And when you take it off, your thumb just sits up there perfect in that curve that's in it. For your thumb just to sit there and ride to hold the gun as you're firing the gun. This trigger is adjustable and it goes from 3 pounds to 3.5 pounds. I tested it and I tested it over and over and I tested it from the center, the bottom, and towards the top. And I get 2.8 pounds on this trigger. 2.8 pounds. Every time I pull it, every position I pull it in, I'm getting the same reading on this trigger. And this is the most difficult part to hide on your carry gun. This part here, of course, is in the holster, either inside the waistband or against your body. So this is not a very difficult part to hide on the gun. That is why I'm not concerned about the extra length here on this comp on the front of it. I hope this comp does its job and all the gases come straight out of the top and keeps the front end down on this gun when I actually fire it. Don't push your responsibility as an adult off onto a child. Buy gun locks and gun safes. Secure your firearms. Till next time, folks. Take care.